Hey Dream City Youth, welcome to another Daily Devo. My name is Spencer, I'm from the Phoenix campus, I'm one of the leaders there, and uh, I'm super excited to be talking to you guys today uh, real quickly. I'm gonna be talking about seeing the opportunity, and uh, basically in the crazy season we're in right now, it's kind of unprecedented for all of you guys, and even me, um, I've never lived through anything like this, so it's kind of freaky, but uh, let me tell you guys that God has a plan, God is good, and uh, he, we're gonna get through this. And if you guys let him, God's gonna use you in this season. So uh, today we're, I'm gonna teach you how to see the opportunity. So I'm gonna be reading out of Acts chapter 16, and it's gonna be verse 25 and 26. Let me set it up for you guys real quick. So basically, uh, you guys probably heard this passage of scripture before. It's about Paul and Silas when they get thrown in prison. They were going around spreading the gospel in Bible times, and Romans didn't like that. So they threw them in prison. Paul and Silas find themselves shackled up and uh, this passage actually opens at midnight, so let me read it to you guys. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was a massive earthquake, and the prison was shaken to its foundations. All the doors immediately flew open, and the chains of every prisoner fell off. Okay, so let me start off with the first sentence there. It says, they were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening. So, I mean, Paul and Silas are literally in prison, shackled up. They're not having a great time, probably. They're probably cold. They're probably stressed out. They're probably wondering if they're going to live or die. But uh, instead of giving up, instead of being like, well, this is the end, or instead of getting mad at God and being like, God, you should have protected us. We were doing your work, and you let us end up in prison. Or instead of just being like, oh, cool, well, maybe this is a break. Maybe God's given us, you know, the week off in prison, then we're just going to get out. So let's just relax and, you know, get to know each other, like, Silas, what's your favorite movie? Like, no, that's not like what they were doing. They were, they took the opportunity being in pris prison and decided to pray and sing hymns, basically sing worship songs to God. And uh, not only do they worship God in that moment and see the opportunity to do that and grow, but they're also doing it where prisoners are listening. So they're actually ministering to people in the moment too. Like out of everything they could be doing that moment, like, Wow, it's incredible. I know for me, if I was in prison like that, I would probably be crying and begging God to get me out. I'd be like, God, please don't let me die. But uh, they chose just to worship and kind of live in that peace that God gives. And uh, now I think it's easy to relate this situation a little bit to kind of where we are right now. Um, it's this whole coronavirus quarantine thing. It's not a good situation. People all over the country are scared and anxious. But like I said, there's no question God is good and uh, he's with us. So we will get through this. We will get through this. And I look forward to the day we're all gonna be hanging out in the youth pavilion again. But until then, uh, you guys have a choice just like Paul and Silas did. It would be so easy for us just to sit on Instagram, just to sit on TikTok, scroll through our phones, watch movies, watch The Office, binge, you know, Disney Plus. But I'm encouraging you guys today uh, to take this opportunity, to take this opportunity that God has given you to first grow closer to God, and then second, uh, be a light to those who maybe aren't Christians or maybe don't have a church, uh, whether they go to your school or it's your family, like be encouraging, be that hope because not everybody has that. Not, not everybody has a daily Devo to watch, you know, to encourage them. Sometimes people don't know God and, you know, this is a scary time for them especially. And I just want to say, if you guys are watching this right now, like go you guys, You've, you're already taking the steps in the right direction. You're not just you know, bumming around in your pajamas, eating food. I mean, that's all good. I do that pretty often as well. But uh, I'm proud of you guys for choosing to dive in and kind of grow in your relationship with God in this season. And uh, I just encourage you guys after this video, like just throw one worship song, listen to one worship song and just pray. Even if it's just for three minutes, five minutes, don't let the, the growth end here. Don't just watch this video and then go on with your day. But I encourage you guys not only to grow from learning, by watching the devos and watching the messages, but then also take it into your own hands and your own relationship with God and uh, just spend some time with him. But uh, I'm sure I'm running out of time, so let me try to wrap this up. I heard uh, this really awesome quote when I was listening to a message the other day, and the pastor said this, the question isn't, will we get through? The question is, will we get through in a way that makes us better when we get through? I'm gonna say that again. The question isn't, will we get through? The question is, will we get through in a way that makes us better when we get through? So uh, I just encourage you guys to keep that at the forefront of your minds. Be like Paul and Silas. Be worshiping God. Be a light to other people. And just like the passage of scripture said, 
where it said that uh, the doors flew open and the chains of the prisoners fell off. Like, God's going to come through. He's going to. And once this is all over, you're either going to look back and be like, man, I wasted that time. I just slept all day. I didn't reach out to anybody. I just kind of numbed my brain till it was all over. Or you're going to look back and be like, man, I used that to that opportunity to talk to my friends, talk to my family, be encouraging, share scriptures or share this video, share another Devo or a message, but uh, just be a light and uh, don't waste this time. I encourage you guys, again, grow closer to God and uh, be a light to the world. Um, here at Dream City Youth, we love you guys so much. If you have any questions for me or any of the other leaders or pastors, or staff, uh, send us a DM. Also, if you need any prayer, please message one of your leaders or uh, message the Dream City Youth page and uh, we'll pray for you guys. Let's come out of this season better than ever. Love you guys. Have an awesome day. Go listen to some worship. Go do some praying. Proud of you guys.